The Hall of Famer is here! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R Superstar Edge. I mean, you go back to, to Edge's childhood where he, uh, he won an essay contest to win the right to train inside the ring for the first time. And since then, of course, creating a Hall of Fame career here in WWE. The ultimate opportunist. He's held every major title on multiple occasions. Orton continues to lay claim to the three most destructive letters in sports entertainment. R-K-O. they come as smooth as anyone in the business and as dangerous as anyone that walks the planet earth what the come on we need to get order here things are about to get interesting one of the most decorated champions in WWE history, Randy Orton, looking to add to his legendary status tonight. And on the other end is Edge, a master manipulator who wears his opponents down with hard-hitting offense, devious mind games, and insults you wouldn't share with a sailor. Uh, I'm blessing just remembering some of the things Edge has done to win. Edge is unloading his arsenal. Yeah, I'm curious to see how long his stamina can hold here. He's got a split personality, King, and I don't like either one of them. And a reverse DDT. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Boom, right in the button. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. How do you counter the physical toughness of an opponent like Edge, who rose to fame in WWE, participating in some of the most incredible tables, ladders, and chairs matches we've ever seen? It takes amazing resilience to succeed in those kinds of high-stakes matches, and Edge has it in spades. You can't expect to take him down with everyday offense in the first three pages of your playbook. He's going to make you work for it. It also means you can't put any limits on what you expect from Edge. He's ready to risk it all to go home the winner of this match. You better be willing to do the same. Ooh, Randy Orton is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history with few weaknesses. Corey, how would you target the Apex Predator? One needs to look at Orton's medical history for the key. More than anything else, shoulder injuries and put the Viper on the sideline. Plenty of fight left. Oh, man, I don't know who to root for. 
Corey brought up Orton's many shoulder injuries earlier, and my quick research corroborates that. He suffered one just six months into his career, and has been out of action as recently as 2016 due to shoulder issues. Well, even if you don't re-injure the Apex Predator's shoulder, it's still smart to target it, as you'll drastically reduce the effectiveness of his RKO. Look out here. All the way from the top rope. Drop for piercing. Three. Back in from the floor. DDT. And shoulders are down. Two. Apparently, a change in plans here. The ultimate opportunist. Watch out. Spear. Here's a cover. Could be it. One, two, three. Edge did it. Edge did it. You know Orton will be obsessed with this move here that cost him the match. Let's take a look at why Edge is the ultimate opportunist. This was another great moment. Here is your winner, the rated R superstar, Edge. Well, that one was over before it even started. The ultimate opportunist figured out a way to win here tonight. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.